Hello? Hello? How are you? I'm good. Uh, my name is Hassan. I'm one of the ED doctors. Uh, can I have your name and level, please? Uh, yes, I'm Yusuf. I work in, uh, as a nurse in an uh, orthopedic department. Nice to meet you. Uh, I've been told that today you came to the ER with a specific concern, right? Yes. So I'm here to address your concern. So could you tell me what's happened, please? Okay. Uh, I work in an orthopedic department and while doing uh, some procedure for this three years old boy, the orthopedician he told me to inform the social service. And I'm concerned with that doctor because this child, is they, he has a very good family. So I don't know why he is asking that. Right. So, and what was the type of fracture? Uh, he has some femur fracture. Okay. Uh, and I know his family very well. They are very nice people. Right. Mm. And what is the age of the patient? He's a three years old child. Three year old. Mm. So you're concerned that you're not convinced to contact the social services? Yes, they are, they are my neighbors actually. I, uh, I live uh, in the neighborhood and they are, I know them personally. They are very nice yeah. people. They will never harm their child. Yes. I do appreciate that you have uh, good contact with the family. And, but we know uh, we as a healthcare provider, we have a rule to pick and to report any cases for which there is any some sort of abuse or negligence here. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have specific patterns for which if we found it in the emergency department, this is raised the possibility of non-accidental injury. Like that if a child who's uh, presented with long bone fractures, like the patient you had, you, you are taking care of. Mm -hmm. So this is a three year old boy and he had a femur fracture so it is difficult for such age of the patient to present with femur fracture. Also, we have other types of injury, like uh, children who are presented to the ER with multiple ribs fracture, multiple spine fracture. Uh, they have burn in the sensitive area, burn on the back, burn in the buttocks, uh, cigarette marking, recurrent visit to the emergency department. All these types of injury raising the suspicion of non-accidental injury. I know that you have and a relationship with those uh, people and they are your neighbors but sometimes the ends, the abuse can be done by other third party that's why that doctor orthopedic he raised the suspicion of non-accidental injury because he saw that the patterns of injury is not matching with the developmental of the child that's why he raised this this suspicion so do you think they harm their child yeah, I know that maybe they are good people, but our target and our rule to raise this issue to the authorized area mm. to investigate more. Because I'm sure that you agree with me if we start to investigate this issue more and more and we found that there is a true element of abuse or non-accidental injury. Mm. So like this, we can save the life of the kids. Yes. So, and if we kept them like this, they might suffer behind the walls and we have no idea about what's going on. Okay. So that's why that doctor, he raised the possibility of non-accidental injury. So I think you should agree with that. Yes, I agree with that. We all need the safety of the children. And exactly. The children. So we as a physician or healthcare provider working in the hospitals, so we need to pick such incident and to raise it to the authority and to provide the full optimal care for the child. Hopefully the child now is okay, right? Yes. Someone are, is taking care of him? Yeah, the orthopedician is taking care of the child. Right. Yeah, but I'm concerned, that's why I contacted you. Yes, exactly right. And sometimes, as I mentioned, the abuse can be by third party. Not We are not accusing anyone per se mm -hmm. that the mother or the father or someone per name, he did the abuse, but sometimes the abuse can be by the second degree relatives, sometimes in the school, sometimes by the visitors at home. So we need to raise the suspicion, particularly in case if there is any other siblings at home. Okay. Yes. Did I address your concern? Yes. Thank you very much. So are you happy to go and contact the social services? Yes. I will contact them and we will make sure that the child is safe. Okay. Lovely. Uh -huh. So at any time, if you have any concern, do not hesitate. Please come to the emergency department so we can address your concern. Thank you. Thank you, Thank sir. You.